Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn something about domotics. I'm gonna show you how to light on and off a bulb through Arduino in a CTR application developed by us. So let's start. These are the parts that I'll be using in this video. A 12 volt power supply which is connected to the 16 model relay board, Arduino Uno, an Ethernet board for Arduino, three wires male to female in order to get ready the connection between a pin Arduino and a relay model. Also, 5 volts and ground connection between the boards. A switch with some Ethernet cables to get the local network ready for having a pin request accepted. A bulb and also a homemade connector for this one. And one of the most important here, the little screwdriver. Okay, let's go to assembly desk. Our first step was connect the Arduino and Ethernet board, applying a little pressure and being careful to not cause damage on them. The following is connect the male and female wires to the Arduino pin number 9 to relay pin number 1. 5 volts Arduino to 5 volts motor relay board. And ground on Arduino to ground on motor relay board. The next step will be the connection between the relay model and the handmade adapter for the bulb. The schematic is like the following image. Let's do it! Now we have to connect our Ethernet cables. One coming from my router, which is providing me internet to the switch. The second one connected between the switch and the Ethernet board to get it seen through local network. And the other one connected to my computer. Also, we have to connect the USB cable to our computer too in order to upload the program to the Arduino board. So go ahead. At this point we have the boards ready to accept the program and all the parts set up properly. Now we go to my favorite part, the program code. Go ahead and switch our computer. Here we need to set the IP for our computer in the same network segment that Arduino Ethernet board. Then with internet connection we must search for Visual Studio and Arduino software. Go to the web browser, search them and then install them as following.
Once both have been downloaded, we can proceed with the installation of them as the following part. We must click on install on this Windows security. We can open it and allow all the features in our Windows firewall. Minimize the window and go back to Visual Studio Installer, checking these two workloads in order to get the program done. Sign in if you have an account, or click on maybe later. Choose your color theme and start Visual Studio. Go back to the Arduino program, and here we'll be cutting. At this point, I'm adding some necessary libraries for this code, like Serial Library for the Arduino board, Ethernet to get the connection through local network, Ethernet UDP to receive the packets with local port, which is going to be connected with the Citra application, assigning a MAC and IP address for the Ethernet board, define a relay on and off, and assigning the pin to the relay. A packet buffer, which is going to hold the incoming packet coming from the Citra application, and then initialize all the Ethernet, UDP, and serial connection. The pin mode or relay one, which is pin number nine, is going to be output, and the relay is going to be off at the first time. Then we create the packet size to get the size of the incoming packet coming from the Citra application. Then evaluate the packet size and say in it, if it's equal one, the pin number nine is going to be high. If it's equal two, the pin number nine is going to be low. In this way, we are going to get the control of the relay. We verified this code and then upload it to the Arduino board. Now we go to Visual Studio and create our application in C. -Turp. In this window, we go to File, New, Project. Select Visual C -Turp and then select the Windows Form app. Set the title of your preference and click on OK. A new project will be created. In the Solution Explorer, right click on form1.cs and select View Code. This will be the structure of our program. Go back to Design tab and here we are going to apply our favorite style, adding some buttons, a picture box, and a few labels as the following part. Select the Windows form and change its size. Go to Back Color and Appearance and choose the color of your preference. Click on Toolbox Panel and search for a button. 
drag it into the Windows form and change its size. Click on the button and hold press the control key to make a copy of this one. Set the position for new one. Apply a flat style for both without text and import an image for each one. Now I will add a picture box and some labels. Then go to the properties of the buttons and change the name of both, in order to have a better reference when you have to invoke those. Now double click for each button and an event will be created into the code. And now this is the program code. I am adding some necessary libraries for the program running with UDP. Creating a destination string which has the IP of the Arduino Ethernet. A on and off string with one and two letters in order to represent the size of bytes into the incoming package in Arduino program. Then send those bytes through a event button with a UDP client and the local port when these are clicked. These two C -sharp and Arduino code, you will be able to download them in the description below. Now it's time to make the test. Start the program and when you click in the buttons, the bulb will be light on and off. That has been all for today, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you haven't already. Thank you and see you here in another tutorial.